Zardari can be corrupt. He is called, he used to be called the 10 percent and he is called all sorts of things. I am not denying that, but he has also helped to introduce many laws which are in favor of the workers and the peasants. So, this, this, is, this, is the, this is the question which must be worked out very carefully. You cannot just make a statement like this, oh, Manzu appeared in one place and he said this and because he said this, he has, been, he has become a tra What if, if, if we make a balance sheet of the last two years? What have we achieved and what have the workers of the Pakistan achieved because of his positions? Workers of the Pakistan have achieved a lot. All the black laws against them, which were introduced in the last 20, 12 years, have been repealed. This is because of the work of the Mansur. This is because how he united the working class. And what else have and what else did he get? He Mm, build a very good base among the workers. He, our group have a very good base among the workers. And now he is trying to form and he is forming the People's Labour Federation, where thousands and thousands of unions will be affiliated with that. And when you build, what, what has been a problem with the people, like un unlike, unlike Labour Party, there is not a direct link between the trade unions and the People's Party in Pakistan. Like in Labour Party, majority of the funding and the voting comes from the, labor, and the trade unions, the organized trade unions, but it's not the case in the Pakistan. Trade unions are not organized around the PPP. Like in some institutions, there are some unions which support the PPP, but People's Party have never tried to organize the trade unions, the working class. And never the working class try to do that. But for the first time, we are trying to do that. And we have successfully done that. And once the workers get affiliated to the People's Party, once they start funding the People's Party, once they start to have a direct link in the People's Party, they will have their say inside the People's Party. They can influence the decisions. Like it, it might seem the reformist, but obviously, revolution goes through the reformist process. Like you, we cannot just jump on the, no, 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 we do not want the workers to join the PPP. We just want them to do, do the revolution. This is nonsense. Once the workers, organized working class, develops direct link with the PPP, when they get directly affiliated to the PPP, they will have their say inside the People's Party. And that is what we are trying to do. That is what it was missing from the People's Party in the last 40 years, that our nice working class was never organized around the People's Party and did not have their say in, inside the People's Party. So this is what we have achieved because of his positions. This, like if he was not the, in charge of the People's Labor Bureau, if he was not in charge of the Executive Committee, he could not even have passed it through the Executive Committee of the People's Party. Now he, ha he is in the Executive Committee, he is in charge of the People's Labor Bureau, he can influence the decisions. So these are the technical questions. But they, like still I, like I said earlier that I don't want to be harsh, but the way they behaved, the Lal Khan, the people in the IS, they behaved criminally. They tried to destroy everything which comrades built in last 20, 25 years, just because to maintain their prestige, just because to maintain their authority, nothing else, just because of that. And if organization in Pakistan remained intact, if it did not get split in 2008, we would be in reality, not, 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 in, the sen not in writing or in, 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 in the imagination, in reality we would be in a position, we would have been in a position to become a mass force for the first time. 
like if like our group in Pakistan has, doesn't matter how much propaganda they spread against us, doesn't matter how slanders they spread against us, that we have the resources of three minutes and you have into Pakistan, we do not have a, even a full time. We just have one part time, we do not have any security, we do not have any offices, we do not have any resources. That's the biggest problem we are having in Pakistan. If the organization remained intact, if we had the resources of the old organization at our um, doorstep, we would be, you know, we would have been in a much, much more better position to exploit his positions, to exploit his influence among the working class. We would have been in reality to become a mass force. But they destroyed it, criminally destroyed it, and now they are trying to hide everything. They don't want, like, they, I, I requested them to let me come to the CC to defend the case of the Pakistan. Did, they denied me the rights. They're scared of. They're scared of facing the truth. They're scared of facing. That's why they like they are expelling anyone who they they think that they have any contact with the um, with the with the Pakistani group. If they are open about it, open it to everyone. If they if they do not have any fears, open it to everyone. Send it to all the members, and ask them to make the decision. I will upload the public videos, which will totally show them how false and how hollow their positions and um, about the news cutting. I said them many times that these news cuttings don't need to be relied on. These are not the authentic sources. But like news cuttings in Pakistan are just made by the imagination of the reporters. They don't even go to the meetings, they sit in their offices and write the, write the stories. But they destroyed the Pakistani section just to maintain their authority, just to keep the organization in their control. But I, 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 I want to say that we have learned a lot from the process. We have, our, most of our illusions have been broken about what the politics is, what the revolution is. And I think that we <coughs> need to unite again. We need to unite um, all the serious leftists, all the serious Marxists around the world. Should unite, should form a common strategy to, uh, for, 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 the, for a socialist transformation of society on, on a world scale.